Hey guys, so today is August 3rd and it's about 7.30 p.m. and I recently just moved to a new apartment so I thought it would be fun if we did like an apartment series on my channel since I just moved. I just moved into Washington DC and I'm currently teleworking because it is the corona era. So I'm currently teleworking and I work at an anthropology organization and at the organization I'm an executive assistant and a program specialist. So I thought it'd be fun to give you a little bit of a tour around my apartment in segments. So today's segment I thought it'd be fun if I show you around and show you my plant collection in my apartment and give you a little bit of background story about the pots that I use and then um, also about the different types of plants that I have. So. I am an avid collector of plants. Now, I used to not have a green thumb at all, but um, as of recently, my plants are thriving and I'm pretty proud of it, except for one in the move, the pot cracked, so it's not doing so well, but I'll show you the rest of the plants and I hope you guys enjoy this plant tour. So for my first plant, we have this little guy and it is actually a llama, which is super freaking adorable. So I love this plant and the pot holder I feel like is so freaking cute. So yeah, I just really like this plant and this is a succulent plant so I just keep her in this little window and she's freaking adorable. Now panning over to my next plant. Now this is the plant that during the move the pot actually cracked. So I did transplant it into this new white pot that I actually got from either Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just a basic white pot but it's pretty big. Um, so yeah, like that's about the size of it. And yeah, so the plant is doing better and I have been watering it and keeping it in the sun. Now this plant was actually my grandpa's, so my mom gave this to me. And hopefully it like comes alive because I really did love this plant. It's pretty big too, to give you a little bit of a better idea. And now we'll go over to my other window. So I have two windows in this apartment, so this is my first window. Super cute, I um, got blackout curtains and they're actually noise canceling um, and blackout and um, they really do keep the light out which is great and the AC in and the noise out. So those were like my three things that I was looking for in a curtain and they're just plain white and I can actually link those, I got those on Amazon very recently so I can link those for all of you. So coming over to my second window, this is kind of an overview of my second window so you can see I have clearly a lot of plants so the plants that I have are starting over here we have this cactus and I recently transplanted this cactus into this very cute little pot that I got from Home Depot and it actually came with a different plant inside but I actually did a lot of um, transferring of all my plants so that they were all in some very cute pots. So this was originally in an orange pot and I just thought this was so much cuter and I've had this plant for a very long time maybe like two years now and um, it ha has a little flower and it's been there for a while and I feel like it's actually growing taller since I've moved it. So coming over here, I have two identical plants. So we have this one, and then next to it we also have this one. And they're two very similar plants, and these plants are actually incredible. I will link the name of this type of plant below, but if you are looking for a plant to grow very quickly and easily, this is the one, because I've transplanted this plant a million times, and all you have to do is you just have to rip off a little bit of the plant and just put it in some soil, and it will grow. 100% always does for me. Um, just water it and keep it in the sunlight. This next plant is a little succulent that I feel like is thriving. It was so cool because it started as such a small little plant but it's actually grown and like looped around itself and it's so adorable it always just like loops towards the sun so I have a feeling it's just gonna go towards this direction and it's so cute and it's doing so well. And I actually repotted these three little plants in candle holders. So they originally came with candles inside of them and I transplanted them into um, having plants inside of them. And also just as an overview, here is my view. So we are in the center of DC and it is an absolutely stunning view. I'm on the seventh floor, which I love. So going back to my plant collection, this is my next little guy, same. This little guy also came in a different, um, a plant came in a different pot with this one. So this is a cactus and it was so beautiful the other day. I was just sitting here and this plant started flowering a beautiful yellow flower, which was so cute. 
and um, I feel like it's doing pretty well now so I just water it and this is a cactus obviously and then we have another succulent over here which is a beautiful plant and it did uh, I think this one did not yet yeah, this one did not come in this pot either I think this one came in this pot and so what I did was this actually came um, from Amazon in a set of four. Now one of the pots was cracked, but I didn't return it when I got it, but I really do like this set. Um, so I would recommend, and I will link this down for you guys below because it was nice if you have just like four medium sized to small plants, they can fit in there pretty easily. Now this plant I've had for the longest time in the pot with it. So this is an aloe plant and I really like it. It's doing pretty well. Um, it does like stray towards like one side depending on which side the sunlight's coming. So I do rotate this so the sun is coming from this direction so I'm hoping it's going to like grow towards that way. But this plant's doing very very well and this is super handy when you get sunburn or if you get burned from the oven when you're cooking. You can just pop off a little piece and put it on your burn. This next plant is another beautiful plant that did not come in this pot. This actually came in one of those pots and this plant is I'm doing very well. It's grown a lot since I've gotten it. And this came in one of the, this was part of the Amazon um, plant set that I was telling you about, pot set that I was telling you about. And this plant I will also get the name of because I do not know, but it's so beautiful and I love it. So this next plant is a cactus and it's in a brown pot that my mom actually gave me. So it's like super old and has like classical written on it. My mom is an art teacher so I have a feeling that she used this for one of her art projects but I really love how this plant is growing and I'm curious if it's actually gonna have a flower like the other one did. So I'm curious to see but I kind of like how I mix some of the brown and the white pots because I feel like it gives a little bit of a pop. Now this next plant has a very interesting story. It's one of those hanging plants and it's growing pretty well like it's getting pretty long. Um, and it's just like wrapping around and it's like so pretty. Now this plant came in a different pot. Um, so I actually transplanted it into this pot and then put it in this beautiful hanging basket that I got off Amazon. And I, sh I can actually link this for you guys below as well. So I really, really like the contrast because it actually matches all of the pots that I have down here with the brown and the white. And then for these, this little wall over here. So here's my little set of my wall here. And I really like this because I feel like I did a very good job of combining colors. And I just kind of want to get one more thing. I think it'd be really cute to have like a little gold spray bottle to spritz the plants because I feel like that would be really nice to give them a little bit of a bath. But for now, I have this really cute little tiny watering can that I've just hung against the wall. And it's nice because I can actually get inside and water all these succulents, which is super convenient. But you do have to fill it up a few times to get all of your plants. So. It's good to have this, but then also maybe a bigger one. And I did just get this off Amazon, so I can also link this below. So for these next two plants, my cousin actually got this for me as a gift, and he's obsessed with Amazon, so I'm sure that this was on there. So I'm sure you guys can find this, um, and I can also link something below. So it's just two hanging wall plants. Now these are fabulous, but if you're moving or anything like that, I. Um, this is pretty hard to move with so I did actually have to buy these two new plants to put inside but I just bought two succulents and I just think they're so gorgeous I love this plant I just I really love it now I got all of these plants um, from Lowe's and Home Depot they have a really good plant selection there so I think those are pretty much like the only places you can buy plants nowadays um, unless you want to go to like little boutiques and then panning over to this next section I have over here. This is like my desk area. And in my desk area I have two um, greenery pieces to kind of keep the mood nice while I'm doing work. Now this first plant is doing so well. Like so well. It was so tiny when I got it. And this also is one of those Amazon pots that it, I um, actually transplanted it into. And I really like this plant. Um, I just always turn it because the sunlight is coming from this direction so I always turn it to make sure that it's growing but honestly I think I'm gonna have to get a new pot for it like it's just completely outgrowing its pot. So the other tip I have is that I actually um, like to put eucalyptus around so I buy fresh eucalyptus from Trader Joe's every week and I actually um, put this in a little Kate Spade, sorry the lighting's not that great, but a little Kate Spade vase and I think it's so beautiful. 
and yeah I just put some dried eucalyptus and then panning over to this side of the room I do have some other greenery I just thought I would show you all so I'm um, still decorating my shelves but so I just put some more dried eucalyptus over here and I just think it's really nice contrast with a lot of the gold and candle and um, sculpture pieces that I have over here and then over here I always just keep um, some fresh flowers so these flowers are from Trader Joe's they seriously have the best flowers at Trader Joe's they're always super fresh and they last a really long time so my flowers from Trader Joe's usually last about three weeks so I just put this in an old wine glass and um, vase sorry, or a wine bottle and same with this one over here and then the last thing that I like to do is on my table in the center of my table I always like to have a vase as well with some um, flowers as well and then the last thing I want to show you all is my supplies for gardening so I got this little canvas bag from some sage I bought and I just labeled it to say gardening tools and so I keep the tools inside of here and the tools that I have are a little shove, mini shovel if I need to transplant something or add more dirt these came with one of my pots that I ordered so it's just a super mini shovel and then this um, shoves in some dirt and then these are pruners so if one of your plants is having some leaves that are dying you can prune them off with this and it is healthy for the plant to do that and then the last thing I have is a set of cute little gardening gloves that I got from Lowe's so yeah I just sort of wanted to show you guys some of my plant collection and I really thought it would be nice to kind of start to give you different chunks of tours of my apartment so I have worked so incredibly hard to get this apartment together so I'm definitely going to continue with these apartment segments and so you guys can see different parts of my apartment and if you guys have any questions about any of the plants that I showed you today please leave a comment below and I can answer that for you and then I'm going to link everything that I talked about down below so that you can buy anything and thanks so much for watching I'm so excited to continue this apartment series and I will see you guys next time bye bye